Hello there guys, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another GRF tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework, and today we're here with another form of validation. So we're doing spell checking. What is spell checking? It's basically checking if a spelling is incorrect or not. What you should do is you should download a text file that literally has all the English words in it and use that. I'm going to be using an array for this tutorial. A future video will be telling you how to do it with a text file, but for now we got an array. So we just got a few words just to prove that this works. As you can see, we full stop is its own words, by the way, because full stops are special. This is the input of the user. It is a string. This is our dictionary, as you might want to say. So let's get right into the code. So the first um, method we're going to make is going to be public static boolean spell check. And we're going to take in string input and string array dictionary. Dick. That's right, guys. We're taking in dick as a value. Obviously, if you put in my dick, it'll be it'll return an error because it's too big. Bad jokes aside, didn't say it wasn't true though. Anyway, let's move on. So we're gonna do string current check equals thingy majigos equals nothing basically. On do boolean no errors equals true. We are currently assuming that there are no errors with the code with, with our with our writing when doing we want to create a scanner spell check uh, equals a new scanner input spell checker dot use delimiter slash 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 S plus. That indicates the space, by the way. We want to right click on scanner to fix imports. Now we're going to create a while loop. And we're going to pre call some methods and then we're going to create them. So I'll do while spell checker dot has next. This might seem really familiar with our file handling videos, and you would be correct because we're using similar things to search through our string as you would do with a file. Current check equals spell checker dot next if not is special. I can't spell for a moment. Current check. Give me a moment. If not check word current check uh, I need to put dick in there system dot out dot print ln current check plus is spelt Incorrectly. No errors equals false. Now you might be like, okay, Max, what the hell's going on here? Well, firstly, I misspelled current check where we're meant to be calling the words current check. So I apologize greatly for that. So, okay, I made the bit of an issue. I put two U's in them instead of one. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste and put them over because, um, yeah. Because I'm, I'm a Muppet, and I can't even spell. So now that we've put in our variables correctly, we still have two methods here which are, are, which are red, and we're going to create them now. So we're going to do public static boolean is, is special string string input. Then we'll do pattern pattern equals pattern dot compile then we want to copy and paste this pattern code it's not hard to remember so you could actually remember this if you wanted to but you have no need to as you don't need it for the exam and you won't need to memorize it for coursework pattern dot case 
Insensitive. Semicolon. Matcher. Match equals pattern dot matcher input. And make sure input is the same as your input as your string variable which you pass into. Return match dot find. Want to right click on matcher and click fix imports. Right. Now we need to make um, our check words method. So we're going to do public static boolean check word string input and string array dick. We need to pass in the, the dictionary because we're actually going to do a spell check. We'll do boolean valid equals false int length e equals dick dot length I like to just say, guys, if you pass in a dick that's too big, it will return with an error as it's too big to handle. But, you know, that's only for the very big ones, which are quite rare, luckily. But I have one, obviously. That aside, int i equals zero, while not valid, and i less than length. So we're going to continue looping through this loop while they're still array elements that we haven't checked in the array if input dot trim dot equals ignore case dick i this is quite a big thing guys valid equals true i plus plus underneath here we want to do return valid and put a semicolon behind i++. Oh yeah, we need to also do here. Now we need to do, what, look what my cursor is. Return no errors. J just, just because we might actually get to a point where this is not going to return. We didn't actually return a value and it's a Boolean me method. So we have to return a value, obviously. So you might be wondering, okay, Max, what does all this code do? Well, before we go into that, we're just actually going to call our methods first. We want to do if spell check input and word list. Word list being our dictionary, by the way. System dot out dot print ln no errors, implying that we spelt everything correctly. Else system dot out dot print ln errors. Right, guys. So, oh wait, I, I should actually know how to spell print. Okay, guys. So if you don't want an explanation of the code. Here is the demonstration that it works. No errors. Why did it return no errors? Or well, greetings can be found in word list. It can be found there. Is can be found there. Max can be found there. Oh diddly can be found there. Here can be found there. No full stop can be found there. However, we don't need to have all of these scripts being correct. Let's put Max O oh, diddly her. And this should return errors. Yes. And even told us what's spelled incorrectly. Her is spelled incorrectly. Yes, her is an actual word. However, our dictionary does not acknowledge her as a word. And it's identified the word that is spelled incorrectly. Now that we've shown that it works, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Also, by the way, guys, this dictionary does ignore special characters. And in the next episode, we'll factor in special characters. But anyway, let's get right into how this works. So, we call spell check. We pass in this string. And we pass in our little dictionary that we have. And we go to spell check. Um, string current check will just store the current word that we're going to be spell checking. Boolean no errors is set to true. It will remain true unless we find an error. So at the start we assume it's true. And if we loop through all the words and find something that's spelled incorrectly. Then we say okay this is false. Scanner spell checker. This is creating a scanner object and we're using a delimiter as a space. So basically when we're going to split each word with a space like in real life English. Now 
This could have a flaw to it, as it doesn't take into account full stops. However, in correct grammar world, you put a space between the full stop and the next word following that. So it's not a big issue for now. This isn't perfect, guys. This is the basics so we can build upon it in future tutorials. Remember that. So, while spellchecker.has next is exactly like while xsus has next for a file in one of my other videos. We're going to check the next thing after a space, until the space after that, if there is more to the string. And if there is, then we're going to do, okay, uh, this current, the string we're currently checking is going to be whatever our scanner object has picked up on. If the part of the string we're checking, or the word, isn't a special character, that's great, it's passed our first validation check. Now we're going to check the word. If check word is not true, then okay, this is clearly invalid, therefore no errors is going to be false as we found an error. And we're, going to, and we're also going to just print out what word's given the error. Once we've looped through this loop until we've run out of words to check, we return no errors, which could be a true or it could be a false. In terms of is special, we're literally just doing what we did in our, pa in our password video. We are basically checking if um, the word contains anything that isn't a letter or a number, as that means it's a special character. If it's a special character, we return false, and if it's not a special character, we return true. Check word, valid is false, we get the length, and we also got i, our counter variable set to zero. While valid is false, and i is less than length, implying that we haven't looped through every element of our dictionary, which we've passed through here, called dick. We are basically going to remove any spaces from the words and check if it's equal to dick and whatever element of dick we're currently comparing it to. We ignore the case as obviously the user could input a capital letter word or a lowercase word. If they're equal, then valid is true. And I plus plus so we can loop through the next thing. And we can return a true or a false. By we assume it's false to start with. And if we find that it's true, then boom. There you go. I'd also like to say that um, if this is true, then we will stop the while loop. Because and implies that both these conditions must be true. And if this is true, then not valid doesn't mean true. Therefore, it breaks the while loop. Because we need a false and i to be less than length. And we call the methods here. If spell check is true, then return no errors. If spelled otherwise, say there are errors. So anyway, guys, thanks for being great audience. This has been a longer video, but um, obviously I want more ad money. Joking, I don't even have ads on my videos. I, I can't because YouTube changed the, 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 the monetization rules. I'm very sad. Ah. I'm joking, guys. I'm not in it for the money yet. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience. You've been amazing. This is probably one of my most complex videos. I probably explained it poorly, but I hope you enjoy. So be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want to see part two, subscribe. I will be uploading these uh, probably in June or maybe even sooner if I feel like it. And we'll have a full working spell check. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. Also, thanks for the amazing support. We have grown so much this month. Like, it's been a, a really good month for us. So let's, let's keep it up, guys. Come on. Let's get to a thousand by this summer. I believe we can do it. I know I'm being optimistic, but I also have cryptocurrencies. You can see where the optimism comes from. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a beautiful audience. I'll see you next time. Adios.